So you, you've been a, a wildlife presenter for whew, over 20 years now, I guess. And I, and I wondered, <laughs> sorry, sad face. Uh, I wonder yeah. if you thought presenting had changed much in that time for wildlife television. Um, well, I think the, the whole TV environment has changed a lot and how you present. Um, yeah. I, I'm very much, I feel a bit of a dinosaur nowadays, even though I, I, I'm not, I feel, I still feel the same, but um, the world is very, very different. Um, it's been, it was never deliberate, been, been, you know, TV was just a career that I could pursue my interest in natural history within um, and it was a complete accident so it's been a lucky accident and I've managed to maintain it I mean I'm, I mean, I'm out here it's given me some of the most amazing experiences of my life um, but it has you know it's a, it's a weird one because it does it does you know there is a, um, a compromise you do miss out on other things you do you know family and friends uh, fall by the wayside quite a lot because the job does take over quite a lot and it's difficult because it's my passion so it's what makes me me, or certainly the subject is. Um, so there are certain resentments that develop over time. Um, I've kind of, I'm of a, a certain age and wisdom now. I mean, I started presenting, I'm trying to think my first piece was in 94, 94, 95. So I've been happy in front of a camera since then. And um, while it's not my it's not every, it's not full time for me now it was back in the day i mean i had several major series going on all at the same time at my peak and i was doing 27 28 countries a year um my carbon footprint is massive and not something <laughs> to be proud of i have to say um but you know i'm still me i still enjoy sharing it if the medium changes it, it changes i think that when i started it was a lot harder in the sense of um, you had to know someone in TV, so you had to bang on the uh, the door of the natural history unit if it was wildlife you're into. You had to go up to survival, angry or whatever, um, and you just had to we, you know envision your way in, in any way you could. Um, now, when people ask me how to be a presenter, it's like, well, you can just do it. I mean, look what we're doing now. I um, you can record programs. You can get OBS for your laptop, and you can just sit there and record a program. Uh, if you care enough about something and passionate enough about it, there's a media, million different media platforms you can present it on. Um, now, I mean, it's good. There's also a lot of rubbish out there as well. So it's good <laughs> to actually study, study the art of TV production a little bit, at least understand how to edit something or um, yeah, how to present properly, maybe. There's a few, there's loads of people doing courses. Again, I wouldn't spend any money on it if I was you, but um, there's a load of free stuff out there. But, but just look at what you like to see. Look at the things that are important to you and are you feel are not being said, and then go ahead and say them. Now, how you turn it into money, well, that is another, that's a weird uh, and confusing, and something I haven't even grasped yet. I'm, I can talk for England, but um, I'm still not sure how to monetize it. I mean, you know, I can do podcasts, I can do all that stuff, but I don't really, maybe I just can't be bothered to monetize. It's like something, it just seems like such a, a hassle, and um, uh, I, I struggle with that. Maybe I can do it some. I don't know, I just haven't really... Every time I think, every time things get desperate enough for me to go, right, I should probably look into this, um, a job comes along and I get distracted and off I go again. So, uh, which is fortunate. Um, and I guess it's one of those things. But as far as broadcast goes, it's changed and it's so different to um, how it used to be. Um, and of course, there's, there's the same number of people watching television, but there's a million, there's many, many more different channels. So as a consequence, everything gets diluted. We tend to find that the American style of things, because there's a bigger market over there, is what comes to us. So it's very difficult being a British um, natural history presenter, trying to push it the other way. So you're like swimming against the flow, really. Um, very rarely do we come up with something in the UK that transfers well upstream to America so we we tend to get their stuff and we can't get rid of our stuff so but then that can change you know the mood of TV is always changing so um yeah I don't want the answer is really but no, yeah, it's definitely no there changed. probably isn't um, really an answer it's just I was just curious on your your no, thoughts I mean one thing really a question was it <laughs> it's just an observation really. yeah 